That's even better. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not that used to uh, to uh, Zoom. I can tell you. So I uh, let's start from beginning here on the presentation. I will not do a, uh, a slideshow. I will just take it as it is. So uh, I just want to to say put what we are doing here with the club into a certain perspective uh, because it's um, we are working with tools. And uh, there is uh, something called a digital landscape. It's a, uh, it's a, uh, I don't remember the site now, but I think it's uh, Martech. Uh, there's one guy who puts together this uh, description or, or uh, listings of the number of tools that are available. And he's been doing that since, well, actually more than uh, t 10 years by now, and uh, when he started in 2011, he found 150 tools <laughs> to to help marketeers, and, and that's only 10 years ago, so uh, I mean, yeah. Uh, 2019, more than 7,000, and uh, this, no, not this year, but 2020, um, we are up to uh, more than 8,000. So try to find the tools we have in, in the club here. <laughs> so, so it's just, uh, I mean, what we're doing is like somebody maybe should say a, a piece in Mississippi or, or, <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> but um, uh, it, it's, really, it's really nothing compared to what is out there. And of course, what this also shows is that we are in the right business. If we talk about marketing as tool operators, because that's actually what marketing became. It, it's not. It's not so much, uh, Michael. I'm sorry to say, but it's not so much about copywriting anymore. It's not. Uh, it's not about finding the the best angles on. Uh, I mean, everything that has. This can be done in, in a form of, uh, let's say, crafting words to sell something. It has been done uh, since the, the beginning of, of uh, direct mail, you can say, or, and post order. Uh, and there are swipe files for everything. So the only thing we can say we can, we can use maybe are swipe files uh, as a tool. But if we talk about marketing today, and especially, of course, online, we, we talk only about um, tool operate, uh, operating tools and finding the right tools for the right purpose and, and, uh, and the right uh, uh, well, goal and end goal. I'm sure this is nothing new to you, but that, that it puts our work in a perspective, and that's what I what I want to say. The other thing is that we have such a wide variety of of members, so it's really not easy to find uh, the a common denominator, because somebody coming in just starting, don't know what to do. Somebody are experienced and already have a running business going on. That's why we have to be. Uh, a tool for for everyone. The club must be for everyone, and that also will reflect what we will talk about in the in, in this webinar, uh, according to the, the schedule you got, uh, which Dave so nicely made a um, mind map of. But I also would like to start with this: uh, if if it's one book you should read, but it doesn't matter really if you are an experienced marketer with uh, with a million dollar business, or if you are uh, just starting out and then trying to find your way around. It's um, this uh, system secrets, where, which is actually worth a uh, hundred times more what you should pay for it on Amazon. Uh, I put this on a blog post, and uh, it, it, it's sort of it's such a winged word. So it's really, I think everyone of you can agree that um, the if you don't have the market for whatever product you have, if you don't have the market, it, it's useless. You you really don't, um, you will not be able to sell anything, and and that's why many of 
marketers coming in, uh, starting in the wrong, from the wrong position, uh, starting, and the worst of all is just many coming in and starting with a tool, which is absolutely not the correct way to start. Because, what, I mean, what for to have a tool if you neither know what to, uh, let's say we, we compare it to a mill. If you don't have the raw material to put into the mill and you don't have any bias for what comes out from the mill, whatever uh, grain or whatever it is, then, then what for to have the mill? So that's uh, that's a little bit the, the shall we call it a dilemma with the, with the tools we have, uh, uh, and uh, I'm sure you have seen the comments and, and Warrior Plus about uh, from frustrated um, bias of of these uh, shiny objects that I bought this and I didn't make any money. I bought twenty tools, I didn't make any money, and you recognize it. I, I'm sure you do, and of course. I created this club to be uh, a little bit, uh, shall we say, uh, to take away the frustration of, of buying something. So the only thing that can be angry or you can be angry at uh, uh, joining the club is that you you spend a little bit of money uh, every month when or year uh, when uh, you could have, of course, spent much more if you would have continue like most of those people do. So to get this who to, to find a market, it, it's really uh, essential. Then you can look at the tools to, to reach those people. And then of course, the product you, you will have, it, it must be something that you like to do. Because it doesn't matter what you uh, what what, uh, what kind of tools you do, or if you if you don't enjoy what you're doing. And uh, I think you have noticed that I enjoy very much what I'm doing <laughs> and that we have a market. Well, <laughs> that's, there wouldn't have been a market if, if we haven't, if this uh, thing we are working with uh, had gone from uh, had this development. So, of course, there is a market. And um, we know that we are needed somehow. And what is needed now more and more is people who can uh, stitch together all of those tools to connect those islands of different tools to fulfill a marketing purpose for somebody else. That is where you can find your market uh, if you didn't do it already. And it can be in teaching, it can be in uh, technical stuff, it can be in uh, whatever. Uh, but the the service integrators of uh, different tools, the connectors between the islands here. Uh, you can, of course, not see what it says here, but uh, but um, I will give you a link to the actually have the link down here somewhere. So you can see this uh, It's actually a huge database of all tools, uh, which <laughs> is an envy of, uh, of me. I would like to have this only for the tools we have in the club and, and I know that so would you. So uh, that's another thing we should uh, work with this year. Carl, uh, just uh, a question that's come up from Carrie. Is there any information how many of these are duplicate products on that screen? How many are? Duplicated. The, the products are duplicated. No, I, I, you mean uh, same same products, different name, like white label or something. Uh, I don't think it's man because this this guy who's doing this is really uh, serious. And in, uh, when you look at the names here, uh, you don't see any. Uh, the, they are not uh, no water of last or JVSU or uh, even ClickBank products among this. Mm. It's um, it's companies that are. Uh, um, well, it's real companies with with real developers. So there are some, of course, which you will recognize, but uh, yeah. but not many. So uh, no, carry. I would say it's it's not uh, it's not duplicates. I don't see the. How will I get the chat here? Uh, there we have it. Yeah. Okay. Mm. So that's uh, that's uh, one thing that you can help 
uh, other people with, and yourself also, of course, is to to really uh, see first the market, the product, and the tools you need to connect them, and not start with the tools. I mean, I, I'm I'm a little bit stupid because I'm talking uh, against what I'm I'm selling myself here, but uh, <laughs> but uh, I still think that's a good idea. But we will come to that uh, shiny object thing later. Let's uh, jump into the agenda. I I, I can get stuck on this uh, for a long time, of course, but I will not do that. Uh, so today we will speak mainly about uh, and thank you again, Dave, for doing this uh, very nice mind map. Uh, we will speak about the hosting and WordPress and site builders because uh, we have some, shall we call it, pillars in the um, in the group that are of great value, that are of great quality, and uh, that also you can use to make money. I know that some of you very much want to have. Uh, reseller deals, reseller options, which we come to uh, over here uh, with products in the club that you can often offer uh, mainly based on uh, on price. But, well, that's not what the club is for, really. We, we If there are possibilities, we do it, but, uh, but uh, it, it's a little bit too... too um, what you said to to uh, uh, take away the the branch you are sitting on on a tree, uh, doing that because uh, the, flooding the market with with uh, price dumped products is is not really what any of us want except when we are buying them of course <laughs> <laughs> we want it, but uh, <coughs> hosting is something really I I. I, I um, Surprised myself when I when I took up this deal with the Twenty I. First of all, it's it's not extremely expensive hosting uh, reseller hosting, but it's extremely good and um, uh, the support is excellent. And I de they developed a program uh, or the uh, well the, the whole platform constantly. And uh, Dave, you have been working. Can you? say some nice words or anything about the hosting indeed. or anybody else who have been using it. Yeah, indeed, uh, no problem, Carl. Um, if, interestingly, 20i uh, are in Mansfield, which is about 15 miles from me, so it's very, very, very close, literally down the road. So I often, I often smile that I have to come to you, Carl, to buy the products that are just five, 15 miles down the road from me. However, um, yeah, I use them. I, I use them extensively. I, I'm a I'm a big fan of, of WordPress um, purely because of the, um, the 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 clickability with you know with, with with the plugins and things like. That. Having said that, they are getting they they they've wised up to it now, where you get a little taster and then you have to buy it, and very often you it's only competitive if you're buying five licenses, which is something we've been speaking about before. But in terms of Twenty uh, I, if if you look at Twenty I and look at their website and all their marketing, that's what we have under the uh, Agro um, site. Uh, and I, I can't I can't say enough about the hosting facilities and the quality of them. Um, so easy to use. So yeah, I'm, I'm a big fan, Carl. I, I don't need I don't need selling. On these particular items, <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> I want you to sell it to others. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. so, so, so yeah. no, that, that's um, that's. Uh, I mean, I'm oh. sure each one of you have had at least five, probably ten different uh, hosting providers yeah. uh, during your business online, yeah. and maybe still still has. Yeah. I'm now moving my last. Sites from uh, Host Nine, which was I think bought by uh, some of the bigger companies. Host Nine had this uh, SEO hosting, you know, with with uh, servers in many different countries, yeah. and uh, not uh, bad, but the speed there is not uh, is not very good. So I move and price. Uh, I pay almost five hundred dollars a year for uh, for. Uh, well, much less than I than I get in in yeah. 20i, of course. Yeah. 
So uh, for me, in, in total, the savings of, of hosting service just by collecting everything into our yeah. club hosting is now close to, I think it's something like $850, uh, $850 per year. Mm. And um, well, it's actually more. I think it's well above, uh, I think close to 1500 And I'm sure that if you really want to have maximum value from the club, yeah. to move your sites when you when you feel that you you have confidence enough of the technology to do yeah. it yeah. Uh, would be the best or or the most cost savings you can actually do with uh, with uh, the yeah. club I, mean, I, I, so, I, I don't know I'm just trying to think how many domains and things I've got now uh, Carl it's, it's it's 20 plus I think and and probably I don't know 10 maybe a dozen different sites with it plus the VPS where I, I host three radio stations or, or put uh, uh, three radio stations run it without any glitches whatsoever I must add yeah that that's a point which which I haven't stressed uh, anywhere before uh, that you do know that there the possibility to grow mm. to scale mm. is in principle uh, unlimited because you can go from one single WordPress site you can go from that to you can go to a multi multi network WordPress yeah. site if you so want, uh, which we we are buying almost every month something from some vendor, yeah. and from that you can go into a, a managed VPS, which is very good because you don't have to have any uh, server technician working with it; uh, they manage everything for you. So you can scale your business seamlessly. Mm. Here and and that's actually not many uh, many providers who can do that. So uh, there's absolutely no risk to start out small and and uh, then grow into something bigger. Mm. So uh, that is a good thing. But let let's not uh, talk too much. I just that's why I what, whenever that comes up, a uh, hosting deal, you know, uh, seventeen dollars uh, lifetime hosting. I, I don't look at that anymore, and I now you know why. Because really, we we can't find anything better than this. Uh, there was some cases like um, launched yesterday. This uh, Iva that hosts the sites you build up for you, but you can also take them out from that. So it's it's uh, it's uh, and host them on on our server. So what what I have. A, actually already going on uh, installed for some of you already and it will be more uh, Paul is waiting for his uh, for his installation uh, is the ecosystem of WordPress and uh, I totally agree with you David that uh, it's WordPress is um, it, it's it's really something that I think the whole internet will be driven by mm. sooner or later mm. uh, Kerry, you asking if Iva is WordPress and WooCommerce? No, Iva is uh, purely uh, HTML and uh, Bootstrap, which in one way is a good thing because you can take those sites very easily and put them into um, uh, cloud funders or course funders if you want. So, so that's a good thing. Yeah, but you can't uh, easily put them on WordPress, of course. Um, Yeah, Sam has some good things to say about the club too. So what uh, what we had it, it started it started with this cage stack, and this is how it's going, <laughs> like the like the famous memes. Uh, I became convinced that uh, um, this uh, block builder uh, Gutenberg in uh, in WordPress will be the future. And I started early to follow what was going on there. And uh, I think we with uh, WordPress 5.9, which provides the full page uh, uh, Gutenberg editing and block editing, I think we, we can say that uh, blocks is is the, the uh, it's already here. It's the, mm. you, you can do almost everything with blocks easier yeah. than you can do by learning a new yeah. um, a new uh, page builder but having said that i also checked out the groups on on internet and you know check out your market 
uh, you remember from the slide ago. Uh, and it's tremendous what a, what a it's almost cult-like uh, groups you have for these uh, different kind of page builders with thousands upon thousands of, of members. That's why I uh, have also uh, got, uh, well, for, Cadence, for Cadence theme and the Cadence plugin, we have the, uh, I went in early and bought a lifetime uh, pro versions. And uh, I think that will be one of the best investments I, I ever did. And which you also can benefit from because I can provide it to all of your sites. And the same actually for uh, Bricks, which is the newcomer, Bloxy, which is a direct competition to, I think I have yearly for Bloxy, but for Bricks I have lifetime, uh, which are uh, Bloxy and uh, Cape Stack. They are sort of say uh, in the race almost parallel, but I, I think Cape Stack. Uh, jumped ahead a little bit when they were uh, bought by uh, iThemes uh, and got some real developing power behind them. So uh, I would stick to Cade Stack for now. But if somebody wants to have anything else, if somebody wants to come with uh, Divi, which is a totally other, uh, other animal, uh, if you'd like that, we have the, all the professional uh, and premiere uh, uh, themes and uh, add-ons there. We also have the oxygen. Oxygen, personally, I I, <coughs> I, I never got the hang of it. Um, has anyone worked with oxygen? Uh, if you'd like to build sites, I, I haven't. I haven't say, uh, been with that at all, Carl. No, no. Uh, oxygen takes over the whole WordPress site, so if. When you install Oxygen, you can forget what WordPress is just there somewhere in, in, in background. Mm. But if you if you happen to put your nose into their group, it, it's it's full of fanatics, yeah. like many others. Um, Astra team theme is of course they will they are now moving towards blocks also, and the uh, question is if uh, did I miss something here? I I don't see. Uh, no, which one are you looking for? No, that should be um, Elementor. Do we oh, see Elementor, Elementor. Yeah. No, it's not there. Seems like I missed that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. we yeah. have Elementor with all all upgrades, all uh, all pro versions, and we have for Elementor and also now for Gutenberg we have the Crocker block. Uh, which is uh, a tremendous way to build sites, really. Yeah. I think, so, I th I'm just yeah. going to say, Carl, I, th I think it would be a good idea for us maybe to to put all these in a list for people um, so that they can actually go and, and find them, you know, in, in the uh, in the members' area. Uh, if Absolutely. These, yeah, yeah, that, to segment that, them out. It's, I, I will make a... You can find some of them on the on the cavestack dot com, which was the beginning. Yeah, there are some of the of the plugins listed as an option to yeah. to buy together with Cavestack, yeah. but uh, not all, of course. Uh, for example, uh, yeah, VP Social Ninja is totally taken over, uh, totally taken over the, the pulling in uh, social media mm. feeds. Mm. And this will substitute uh, a lot of things, and then we have, of course, toolset. Toolset is uh, is a unique, unique way to build blocks. Mm -hmm. uh, well, it, it's it's so much, and it's coming new all the time. And the day you will get your um, your uh, CRM also. Oh, excellent. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, I've, I've, I've actually just bought five licenses, Carl. But that's all right. Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you, you, you have said that for a while, but uh, I I will provide that. No, it's all right. Don't worry. There are some some things which uh, maybe WordPress is not the best because to, to use, I I would to be honest, I wouldn't put uh, support. Actually, I did from the beginning, and it was a failure. But it was probably the wrong plugin. I wouldn't put support on the WordPress site right now, no, because. Um, it's um, well. It's 
okay if you have a dedicated site only for support. But if you try to do something else and install plugins, so you for every new plugin you you increase not only double the risk, but you you multiply the risk of conflicts. Yeah. So yeah. if you want to have some uh, some uh, mission critical systems. Uh, on WordPress, have it on dedicated uh, WordPress sites and, and don't mix it up with with a lot of other things. That's my strong recommendation. And since we are providing this um, uh, new scheme, uh, which I will come to soon, uh, it will be very easy for you. To, you have a number of these uh, dedicated WordPress sites to, to work with, so it, it's really, you don't have to, uh, to be greedy with it. Mm. Uh, just let me mention a little bit more about hosting because um, there are some things that we can use on the host, which is not WordPress. And uh, the main thing there is cloud funnels and uh, course funnels. Mm -hmm. uh, I like those programs. You have to it has to learning curve, but I'm now doing uh, membership sites for a new uh, membership, uh, very low membership level uh, based on PLR for I buy scrub, I will come to that later. It would be uh, seven less than seven dollar per month where those who come in, they will get a, a course funnel hosted on our club hosting and we will have uh, monthly they will get a PLR with PLR so I can sell the PLR to and uh, install them because uh, course funnel has a very um, clever uh, funnel, uh, what's called uh, migration, uh, way to do migrations. So that is um, that is a, a really uh, good thing. And of course, the PLR is provided mainly by monthly content and software by club and we have a lot of other things. So I will not spend much more. That's just one example how you can use uh, Linux Unlimited because on Linux Unlimited you can have uh, as many uh, domains and subdomains mainly as you want. Uh, you can't have subdomains on the on the WordPress. You can, but it is not recommended. Mm. So let me mention a little bit about the new uh, hosting plans. I put a video in the Facebook group just a couple of hours ago. Uh, showing this uh, better than this, but uh, un up until now you had to go out in the in the home and you have to order and buy and use our club um, coupon uh, for every new site you installed. This will now, for some, it's already uh, uh, passed. For some, it will be soon. And your next week, I will I will install this on all of your. Uh, all of your uh, hosting um, accounts. And uh, that means that you will have two new buttons up here. To be honest, start migration, I, I haven't tried yet. Uh, you're welcome to try that when you have it and see how it works. But mm -hmm. this ad hosting is, um, is the important one. When you click that, this screen will show up. And uh, down here will be uh, something called allowance. And uh, that will be the plans which I have added to your account. And in in uh, this case, uh, all plans are divided on the UK server and um, the US server. So for those full paying members, you will get uh, two ten no, two twenty. Uh, hosting uh, packages because we still have the packages inside these plans. <coughs> uh, the packages are those you work with, uh, which you see down here, which you are used to work with. Mm -hmm. So when you sign up here, you use one of your al uh, allowances on those plans which I have given you. Mm -hmm. And you can request what you want. You can have. Uh, 40 uh, WordPress uh, sites in America. You can have the, all. You can have them wherever you want. But that's what we start with: uh, uh, 40 WordPress and uh, 10 Linux sites, and they are divided into uh, two plus two 
plans. Yeah. Can, can it, I ask a question be, about yeah. the Windows packages? Is there any any scope for us to have um, a Windows package? I, I just I've got a well, couple of clients yeah, well, that got the, some the, systems on that. The, the Windows packages are still there. So if somebody wants, uh, want, I just didn't create any plans for uh, for the Windows packages, but I can easily do that if somebody wants it. Yeah. So then, uh, then you would have those uh, those two. But we're still part of, those... still part of our um, our uh, membership deal, sort of thing. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. That's good. That's good. Uh, but uh, in in total, I would like to say I need to. Uh, the reseller in 20 i works like this that i can allocate i have allocated unlimited at least for now if they are changing prices but i yeah. hope they will not change anything else but uh, unlimited of um, hosting packages and also means unlimited plans but for every plan uh, or for every package for every site principle yeah. there is um uh, timeline backup, which I have to pay for. So if you go over 50 sites, you would still have unlimited sites, but I have to start to charge you for the timeline backup. It's it's very yeah. small money. That's why I can, uh, can live with up to uh, 50 sites. Mm. Uh, but uh, when it goes above that, uh, it, it might, uh, and if somebody comes in with thousands of sites, yeah. yeah, you yeah, understand. Yeah. It, yeah. It's not possible. Because commercial. But I think yeah. For, yeah. for yeah, for most of you, fifty sites with uh, and if you then want it uh, individually for any sites, because that, that is one of the excellent things in in the, in uh, this hosting, is the timeline backup. Because you can do so much more than timeline with it. You yeah. can uh, or backup. You can uh, you can do um, cloning of. Of host and, and that's what I want to talk to also I, I haven't made a slide for that but when when you have this um, uh, packages set up here uh, in your uh, managed hosting account you can between all the WordPress packages and actually it doesn't matter if they are in the UK or in uh, US for example Sam I if you are still here I just cloned a CAD stack site from my template in UK to your new site in uh, in U USA. And it seemed to work uh, just like they were under the same umbrella, which they are, of course. Mm -hmm. So uh, these are very good because you can use these 50 or, or more uh, sites which you have, and you can rent them out to your clients. Mm -hmm. And you can own the client's sites. You can have all those packages which you have available in the club. Yeah. So uh, we, we can sell them on. We can sell those 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 packages on those individual yeah, sites. Or rent them. But yeah, yeah. Uh, if some if some of you, uh, you or uh, cli your clients leave our uh, club hosting. So, they have to pay for those yeah. uh, pro versions uh, yeah. by themselves. But as long as you are inside our club, it's uh, it's uh, included, yeah. so to say. And and that's of course a great value if if you are making sites for somebody else. Hmm. Uh, any more questions of? Um, uh, Michael just uh, said timeline. They, no, no, it says uh, time. Do you mean Mike, bandwidth? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Michael, I, I said, no, uh, it's not that bad with the timeline backup means that you there is a, an automatic backup every day on that one. Uh, and um, actually, I could go in and show that maybe. Well, if you want to leave yours running here, I don't mind going into my uh, and share my um, inside my hosting site, if you yeah. like. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, if, if you just you stop can show the, the timeline. Yeah. There is also a video I made about this, uh, about how to uh, recover from hacking. You can find it on, on the um, YouTube channel. Yeah. But uh, you you can, uh, since since that question came up, uh, please do. Uh, yeah, Dave. I will. Uh... I got a I got a quick question here on the on that. We just talked about doing this with clients. Um, 
if we were to offer that to somebody, is it is it would we be the person managing everything? Like if say they wanted to have a divvy, are they gonna be going in like what could it let me read with it? Could it be somebody who um wants to manage kind of do their own build their own site and we can offer that? Or is it just a client that we're gonna build the site for? No, well, it's totally flexible. Yeah, the, the only thing is that uh, I have to be involved in in many cases, not all, in the allocation of of uh, uh, and and maybe in some case of the uh, what's it called um, registration, themes, the premium themes, and yeah, the, the, reg and the registration of those, yeah. Yeah, because yeah. I, I I will not uh, throw around um, the API keys for all of those, uh, especially of not, not. Yeah, that makes sense. I'm sure okay. Yeah, that's good. Thanks. Yeah, um, you should be able to see my um, area for, on the Aroga web hosting here. There now, these are the packages that uh, that I have already lined up in here. These are independent sites, uh, a couple of my own, and then others that I've done for clients. But things like domains, I have a whole host of domains that I, I can use and then point them to subdomains on my packages. And you'll see here that this, this all comes as part of your, your package, you know, all right, we have to we have to purchase the domain, but it's like five pounds a year. But but that's that's something we we have to do anyway if we want to get a domain because that's that doesn't come part of the club. But I can host them, and I've got a home for them here, which work, works extremely well. Um, what the other item we were going to show, Carl? What was it again? We were we were going to look. It was at a timeline back here, but maybe it's not so. Yeah. Uh, it should be here, but uh, it's good to show maybe the, the, the control panel because yeah, uh, I know that many are a little bit scared uh, coming from uh, from uh, C panel to this yeah. one. But uh, or the timeline backups. This is this is the one here. Yeah, I think is so, that the right? This one here. Yeah. Yeah. Now, so every if you press that, you actually ah no 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 it is no. not that one. Sorry. You have to be inside manage. Uh, this is uh, oh, manage this the domain. Uh, or manage yes, the, this what you clicked now is if you go above fifty sites. Yeah, uh, this is the one you you uh, use. That but one. Uh, yeah, yeah. But otherwise, you have to go into the hosting and and uh, the control panel for each for each one of the. So this is my hosting here. Yeah, this one. So there you have the timeline back here. There we are. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So all, all my backups will be in there. I mean, this is something I didn't know, to be perfectly honest. I, I thought for the timeline backups, I thought we had to buy them uh, as, a, as a separate item. Yeah, that, as I said, there is a separate charge, but yeah. I've included it for the, those uh, yeah. first uh, yeah. future sites. But uh, the, the good thing is that it's automatic once uh, for 24 hours, but then you can go in. Yeah. And make a backup if you um, just uh, yeah. do some big changes or whatever. I'm just showing that, uh, that um, the ones that come in with the one-click installs here, Carl. That is, you know, and if if you've got a site, this is where you would install your WordPress site. But um, it, well, that's why you installed WordPress on a, on a Linux. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So when, since you have a Linux uh, control panel here, let me just say then that. For Linux, uh, you still have the timeline backup, but it's for the whole site. Yeah. So it's not that easy to uh, to clone sites, but it's it's quite possible because you you have the files and you have the database separate. So it's it's yeah. it's uh, really not difficult, but but and it's much easier than to uh, in in uh, WordPress. In, in the WordPress, I use um, there is a cloning plugin which does it for you, and then just transfers it over, uh, which works quite well, to be perfectly honest. Um, I'm trying to think which that one is. I'd have to go into my. 
Uh, well, by the by, that's that's digressing a little bit. So if you want to take back control, I'll stop my share, Carl. But um, that's just a brief yeah, overview. Yeah, we, we, I mean, it, it's it, it can be a separate webinar. Yeah. <laughs> if the, the the control panel. Yeah. Uh, so I go back to share my ba screen. Banwell yeah. has his hand up, Carl. Banwell, can I ask you what is what it is you'd like to say? Open your mic. Sorry. Now, now, Dave. Um, just a quick question for Dave. Um, you see all those different domains. Yes. Um, are they are they all individuals or, or have you used multi sites? They're they're individual domains that I've registered. So so not no no. I mean the installations. They're not multi sites. No 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 you no know, no. You know WordPress multi sites you use now. No, no, that that they're just the domains that I've got, which I'm holding within my with my uh, 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 rogue West website hosting. So I've, I've bought the domain, and now yeah. I could do what I want with with the domain. Yeah, Carl, do you understand what I mean? I did, I, it, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, it's it's like this on uh, Linux Unlimited. You yeah. can put as many domains as you want. Uh, you just add them, and and uh, I think I showed it in uh, in uh, I have a video on that, so it, it's very easy. And uh, domains, add-on domains, and subdomains, they work in the same exactly the same way. You just point them to a subfolder in uh, HTML, uh, public HTML, yeah. and you have a separate database for them. So that it it's uh, you can put as many domains as you want on the WordPress one. Packages, hosting yeah. packages. Yeah. Let's say like this: if you have a managing uh, program for uh, or a plugin for the, the multi-site, yeah. you will be able to point domains to those sites. But I have a couple. I am testing it out. I'm using, uh, I forgot the name of it, the most famous of those uh, management, multi-site management programs. Okay. And, and it's possible, it's possible. Okay. You lose some of the, of the customization, and not customization, but optimization, and, okay. uh, and also, but, uh, but it's, it's possible to run uh, multi-sites also on, on those. Okay. And you can you can run quite big sites. I've heard. I didn't do it myself, but it's good you pointed out. I will I will dig into that a little bit more. Okay. So 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 the the, the twenty the twenty um, no well now it's forty the forty um, WordPress one each of them is not uh, they are, the twenty are not multi site They are completely in the they are in, in independent of each other. Yes. Yes. Yes, yes, of okay, course, fantastic. of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If that's what, yes, of course. They yeah, are totally, okay. and that's right. the, whole, okay. the whole idea. That's, yeah. Okay. If you but go but back, you can put multi-sites okay. on them. Uh, okay, okay. I, okay, good. good. So, so right now, the one you get initially, they are completely independent of each other. They are not multi-sites now. Completely. Okay, completely. fantastic, fantastic. Thank you. Then one more question I have for you. If you go back to your screen, under under the client, uh, when you go to the client area, that interface. Uh, wait, it should be. You, you need uh, to share again, uh, Carl. It should be Dave. Dave, I think it's yours. Uh, oh no no no! no. You, you come. Uh, your, okay. your, yours, Carl. You need to share, share yours again now. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's the screen. Yeah. Now, it, now on this screen. Um, you see that there too, there's a, there's a Linux, yeah? And also there's a, there's a WordPress 1, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Now, that WordPress 1, is that just one WordPress site? No, well, uh, it will become one when you add a domain because uh, these are the plans. Yeah. So allowance here is the plan. Okay. So if, if you have 20 here, you can pick until you have picked 20 from this allowance, then there will be no more left for you. I so, see. so this is just to say that you want to put this domain yes. on a package yes. which you have uh, under this plan. Okay. 
to be honest, I, I don't really uh, get it why they didn't <coughs> mention plan here instead of allowance. But it's of course that the plans can have different amount of packages inside them. Okay. Mm. Okay. So, so that's probably why uh, they use allowances. Uh, okay. And as you know, you're 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 trying to get mine up and running, man. Now, if I if I decide if I click on that to install it, will it come preloaded with the with the with the Kafka? No, it's it's a clean. You have to. It has to be a clean uh, okay. WordPress installed from your side in that case. Okay. So so you. If if uh, since you asked me to install the cage stack, yeah, uh, yeah. You, what you can do, and it, actually it, it's not a bad thing to do it because it will make some connections between the database and uh, and the, uh, the folder, yeah. the the files. Um, you can install the WordPress. You can run through this installation program of of WordPress through the control panel. Okay. Uh, but please bear in mind that everything will be erased when I put uh, the Kate Kate clone, the Kate stack clone there. Okay. So, okay. Uh, but it, it's a good thing to do because normally I do it myself before I do anything. So if you you can save me that step by doing it, uh, because it it creates the as I said the connection between the database and the uh, and exactly this site. So you don't have to go in afterwards so i don't have to be in afterwards and create a separate database and attach it to this site so well okay. it, it, it's not big difference but can we go training for you to <laughs> to install the word no that's site? fine no, no we can we can do that we can do that and if i need say, say i install one and i need another one i how do i do i get back to you again saying oh i need this no, team it, and just, that plug? just or, or are you going to show us how to clone so, yeah, so there's yeah, no pressure the, on you. Yeah, the, the clone actually you can see it in uh, in uh, in the Iron Bass Club okay. uh, YouTube channel. I think it's the one with the gold, and not the one with uh, our logo type. Okay, thank uh, you, thank you, Dave, thank you, guys. Welcome. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. So uh, yeah, and this is of course important uh, that this will be uh, useful for you and, and I think it will be this way. Yeah. So as soon as you have your account set up, uh, the, the hard work from your side is actually done. Right, uh, let's... How do I get my hand down? I, I've, I've just taken it down. I think you might have just put it back up again. <laughs> oh, okay, sorry. I thought if I clicked it, I thought if I clicked on it again, it would go down. Don't, don't don't worry. Worry. All right. I'll take it down for you. No problems. There we go. Uh, let's have a brief look at uh, at the um, uh, software suites. You say suite or suite? I never uh, know. Suite that. here in the UK we say suite. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. No suite. I know I wear sometimes. But yeah, we spell the same. Suit. Unfortunately, <laughs> not that often <laughs> and more. And, and suite. I've been staying in an hotel, but yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, anyhow, I, I um, uh, put a stone into the ant uh, ant uh, home, or what's it called? Uh, Nest. Yesterday, when I when I or a couple of days ago, when I presented high level, yeah. Uh, and there was a reason I, I did that partly. First of all, it's it's an extremely good platform, and uh, now I will dive into. Uh, not really sick. Do we have any yearly members? We have still Sam here. Yeah, I'm a yearly uh, member. Yeah. I yes, of course, Paul. You're also yearly. I forgot that. Yeah. You are. Uh, if you took up the offer, uh, which I think you did, of uh, the agency bud. Yeah. Um, uh, what's it called? Uh, cold reach the uh, data geo and uh, rep one. Mainly, mm. but but also uh, post uh, social post magic and uh, and uh, this uh, um, Artemis uh, contents program, they they are all moving out into a separate uh, suite. The component suite suite, suite, suite. Yeah, it's, 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 yeah. 
<laughs> called, <laughs> called uh, uh, Comet Suite. Right. Comet Look, look, look it up on. Uh, I think it's commonsweet.com, uh, and they are hosting everything now, or or let's say use high level as go high level as an integrator. Oh, and that was of course really interesting. Uh, yeah. uh, because they and and uh, that's why they took away my reseller option, which I had. I always had a feeling it was too good to be true because it's such a high level of of programs. Right. And uh, I've been, of course, I was a little bit uh, pissed off on Walt uh, doing that because he was quite, uh, in the beginning, tough. That uh, from uh, it until March they can use it, then it will be shut off. Mm. But the good thing is that all your accounts that are created, you will keep them as before, as long as you are members of the Ironbirds Club, of course. Yeah. And uh, the, the cheapest plan now for this uh, Comet Suite, which in principle is, is all of those programs which you have uh, available, uh, will be $297 per month. Mm. Mm. Uh, their uh, upsell, which contains <laughs> the the social media, uh, uh, this social post magic, will be uh, four hundred ninety seven dollars per month. Ooh, and they are already, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, so yeah. Uh, those of you who has, have this now, you you you. Of course, you will not get the comment suite, but you will get uh, individual access to those programs that you had before. I've just been. I would write about it. I've too. just been spending a bit of time with it, actually, Carl. Um, since you did that video, and I, I, you did load it up for me quite a while ago, but I hadn't got that involved with it. And I've had, a, and it is a nice piece of kit, actually. High level, go high level. It really. It is. can do in principle everything. Uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah. As opposed to dot com pal, which you got. <laughs> yeah. No. It, no, I, I shouldn't say, but dot com pal, I. I think they have in mind something that it will be, but then they have to make money during while they are building it and doing all these, uh, I would say, stupid launches. But I suppose it's in the genes or something. I, I don't know. It's. Um, I think with dot com Paul, the, 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 the theory and where they want to go is good, uh, the principle, but it just don't seem to work as well. I, I I use the the video part. I I think Sam also use it quite. Yeah, quite yeah, yeah, yeah. I have yeah. I do for the storage, but just for the for the hard drives, the storage space. Yeah, that does work. That does work quite well actually. Yeah. Yeah, and and also the the yeah the hosting of videos and the, yeah. the player uh, yeah. stuff. It it works. Uh, yeah. It also works quite well together with. Um, uh, course uh, funnels. Yeah, but then we have builder all, and uh, this I I made a post long time ago, and uh, builder all is another of these cult uh, groups. I think they have uh, more than uh, some fifteen thousand users, and they are all fanatics. They are also a, a huge uh, competition about. Um, Affiliate affiliates for build role and the same actually for high level. Um, but uh, build role is something you it, it's an additional cost, but it's peanuts compared to the official price for build role. I I was in very early for uh, for a white label, and uh, they have been quite I would say quite um, good towards those early. Uh, grandfathered uh, bias. Mm. So we are not getting all of the new upgrades, but we are getting enough for it to be uh, to be useful for for any small business principle. And uh, if uh, this is something, I, I must update my own to see that everything works. But otherwise, it's just to go in and, and set up a test account and run it. Mm. Uh, it, 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 yeah, it, there are pieces there which we have uh, somewhere else, but it could be worth looking at also if you have nothing else to do. Um, Carrie's, 
Carrie's asking about his go high high level and websites. Uh, Carl, is is that something you can address now, or does that need to be some, done with Carrie directly? Uh, it, let me see. Yeah. Thank you, Michael, for the link. Uh, can I go ahead? Yeah, the the website are hosted and managed uh, on the servers, and you do everything from uh, from your account. Mm. So, and, and you can you can even have membership sites then. Yeah. So uh, oh. the the thing I noticed uh, with uh, high level is that the if you compare with uh, some of the other platforms, we have the number of um, of uh, templates for sites is quite limited but th that is something i plan to add and i think even you can add in your own businesses you can import templates oh that's interesting but i was going to ask you Carl, i know uh, that the, the our ones come preloaded you know that you set up for preloaded with the marketing ones because that that's our focus but um are there packages um for, for example, I, I do a lot of work with uh, bands and artists and things like that, you know, as, as an agency for bands and artists. And I was looking at ways how I could build a high level agency, if you like, for those. So there'd be a different set of temp templates. Do you have anything like that in the draw for, um, for high level? Yeah, for um, I mean, for, for high level, we just just need a, a HTML uh, site build, build on HTML or Bootstrap. So, and and there are many. I'm not sure if there are in. We have this um, motor shop. Yeah. There are some HTML templates, but we also have uh, something called uh, Rapify. Yes, yes, I've used Rapify. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, yeah, exactly. You are. I think you're the only one using it. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> it, it it cost me it cost me forty seven dollars a month, uh, we, inclusive with a video video uh, uh, hosting there. Right. Uh, I better, I better start uh, but using it's my this. it's my fault. <laughs> it's my fault because I didn't market it. Uh, I don't think we even have it in uh, some way in, on, on the invitation. On the invitation page, but uh, they have a lot. You, you can have a look at what they have. Yeah, I, I think uh, Paul. I think I, I showed you one of your uh, sites from Rapify. If I yeah, yeah, she did. Yeah. yeah. So uh, th they have quite a lot. I think they have seventy uh, niches uh, there, and uh, then of course you have all uh, all uh, in. But, but can we get access to those niches? In a Rapify, yes. Oh, in, in, in Rapify, yeah, yeah. Sorry, in Rapify, but but then to import them into the high level, that would probably be in yeah, the support I, file. Yeah, I have concept. to see if, if I have to see if you can do it on the account admin level. That's yeah. what we, we have yeah. different levels, as yeah, I yeah. explained in the video. Yeah, uh, I think you can do it in the account. Yeah, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll, admin I'll, level. I'll have a look, Carl. I'll, I'll have a, yeah. a ferret through the support. If not, account. just tell me what you want, and I will install it uh, for you. Thank you. So first, find uh, the, the niche that site you want. To. I, I can't import. It's impossible to import WordPress sites. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay. the, the other thing, if you have something like that, uh, I will send you, Dave, because uh, multi uh, multi WordPress sites, uh, there are guys making hundreds of thousands of pounds uh, a month. Uh, for example, communities for uh, gym. There is one uh, I forgot the name of the the site, but uh, if if you see what they are doing, it is quite simple. They they have a setup of templates, and then they rent out space on on a WordPress multi site, yeah. and uh, in principle just collect the money. Yeah. So uh, that's also a suitable way. But okay, we okay. might this will drag out. <laughs> uh, I don't think we're going to get everything covered tonight, so I think we might have to schedule another one, Carl, at a later date. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we have to. How many are we on the on the call now? Um, I will tell you that there's 12 of us. There's 12 of us here. Okay. Paul, do you want something? 
Has Paul got his hand up? Question for you, Carl. Uh, Dave. Um, yeah. you, you see the high level one, the high level that you talked about. Yes. Uh, I know it's available to us as a uh, founder member. Is it too late now before they change? Is it they match? Because though I'm a founder member, I am not, I'm not, um, you know, uh, an, uh, 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 an annual it. member. You'll, you'll have to speak to Carl about that. Um. Well, is it too late to get on, Carl? Before yeah, 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 yeah. Does it say uh, only for founding members? So I, I have to change that in that case. But what I was planning for higher level is actually to move it uh, to uh, to the yearly level. I, I thought it was. Uh, I thought it was the annual level, Carl. Because I think that was. That's, no, thought, it's not yet. But I, I was thinking about it because, uh, after all, it's some work to set it up and. Um, hmm. And uh, it, it's not, let's say, it's not a resource that you just ask for it because you, you it's, it's not a shiny object. Let, let's mm. just be honest about that. Mm. Uh, and uh, if you want to benefit from your access to high level, uh, you, you must spend some time with it. Yeah. It, 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 it's, it's not a flat learning yeah. curve. Yeah. It's a real curve uh, but having said that uh, as i said i you will get you will get uh, six accounts and that's a value of six times uh, 97 one for yourself and uh, and one for or, or five for uh, to build your business uh, with clients and uh, that's of course a value of at least uh, w without any uh, additional um, uh, services which you can add to it it's a value of at least ninety-seven dollars a month for each one of those contracts. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> if, if you put your yeah, if you put your mind into this, you can easily make the. You can forget about the membership fee because that will be peanuts for you. I mean, in the club. Yeah, but so, but you say the charges are going up soon. So, if one is not registered after March, can I register before? The charges go up on my own, or will I always be opportune to be able to register as no, a founder? I, as a I'm, I'm not sure if high level, or I haven't seen it. They, they have introduced a new service called uh, some SIS package where, where you can, I never put my head around what it is, where, where I doubled the price, but the monthly price is $300 or something for, for the agency. I haven't seen any announcement of uh, price increase, uh, but if, if you if you saw it, Paul, uh, please let me know because because the, the, what I was talking about was mainly uh, changes in the club or of the level who can uh, can access it, but but I haven't decided, so we will see. Um, yep. Shall we continue? Uh, <laughs> Carrie's uh, just a couple of notes. I'll just read out that Carrie's put in there, bring it to people's attention. Um, uh, the marketing agency website 12 and IFIUX product that launched this week can put the site all together and cloned to for everyone else to use. Not sure what you're meaning there, Carrie. The market agency website. Uh, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, uh, it's, it's a local uh, agency box. I think the official the official name is right. Right, Kerry. Uh, well, yes, of course. I, it's it's uh, you can just you can't put them on on high level directly. I think. But um, you, well, I, I, I see what you're getting you at. Can. That yeah, in terms of the niches, different niches and things, possibly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, they are just. Uh, Ah, no, uh, sorry, they are not HTML, they are all WordPress, okay. and they have an extremely complicated uh, composition of WordPress, because uh, some pages are built with, um, most pages are built by with uh, Elementor, and uh, some other sales pages, especially, they are built with Thrive, Thrive. Mm. architect a part of Thrive teams yeah. which i would say is might not even be according to the license uh, not even yeah i mean they Legal. they uh, 
But they have a license, uh, an agency license, but the, obviously they didn't use that for this uh, because it's not, there's no license on it. Yeah. Not even I, I, I build with uh, five uh, themes, uh, but I have a uh, grandfathered uh, old license, but not not uh, agency. So I can't provide you with uh, five themes, unfortunately. Okay. Because it's, uh, I like it, it's very good. Shiny tools, so, then, uh, Shiny tools. Michael, which, uh, which are slow loading? Uh, on the... I th I th you, you can open your mic. Yeah. You can open your mic, Michael, if you want to, and you don't have to use that if, uh, if there's a direct question at you. Sorry about that. Yeah, it's elementary. It's just like so slow. It's uh, ridiculous. Mm. That's why I usually use just HTML or PHP pages. Mm. If it's just a sales, like going to ClickBank or something like that, just a couple of uh, pages I string together and that's it. I don't even bother using WordPress. I don't have to worry about it being hacked or anything like that. Mm. That's what I usually use myself. Mm. We, we have a couple of interesting things. Uh, let me go up in uh, here again. Uh, you see this Breezy stack here. I don't know if you heard about Breezy. Uh, they have two. They have a Breezy cloud and they have a WordPress uh, mm -hmm. plugin. And they are developing quite fast. <coughs> uh, some uh, company based in Romania. And uh, Breezy, they are building both for WordPress and for HTML. And they are doing some clever things, meaning that you can build on their, uh, I must make a separate presentation about that. Uh, you can build on their server and then you can push it and also push changes so it's connected to a site on, for example, Linux Unlimited. And that's a quite clever system. Mm. <coughs> and they have a lot of, of um, templates too. I will, uh, I must do a separate uh, thing about that because uh, it's underused. I'm paying for the agency license and uh, we are not using it. That's the breezy stack that we need to look at then, yeah. Uh, the other is, of course, uh, Michael, you know it and, and, uh, Early, you know it from the Society 11 uh, and Andy's, uh, Andy got, um, let's say, engaged in it. And that's the nice page system. Uh, nice page uh, is not listed here, I think, but it's also, we also have that. Uh, so you can have a nice page installation on your WordPress theme and build in principle whatever for you you who don't know nice page it's uh they call it um it's sweet generation free <laughs> yeah they they call it uh site builder number uh, of generation free meaning that you can in print free like both in number three and then free you can move your your stuff around like just like in in uh convert tree uh, yeah, in, in exactly in uh, PowerPoint or whatever, and uh, it, it's quite amazing. I'll really, just pop, I'll you just can pop it that. on there. So, <laughs> so, so uh, the I, I am club has um, nice pages. We have nice pages uh, on WordPress. Yes, uh, not on uh, on uh, Windows because no. they don't have any license for this. But uh, you. Uh, yeah, I, I will uh, demonstrate it on, on WordPress. You, you can use almost everything that you can do on, on uh, Windows. Good. And, uh, yeah. Make a note of that. Thanks. So that is when it comes to HTML or, or whatever. It, it, it's becoming merged. Um, you can see how far I got in the preparations here because today been a hectic day. Uh, that's why I wanted to suggest that we, uh, oh. I want to say something about the shiny tools because the shiny tools are what brought you in, to be honest, right? Yeah. 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 
<laughs> so I know because I'm I'm one of you, <laughs> absolutely. Uh, and uh, I I probably need to continue to provide shiny tools. Maybe not so much for you, but some of you, of course, still want to have this a little bit interest to to uh, yeah, see what it is it's fun. and see if you can use it mm. uh, but mainly for attract uh, new members but uh, what i uh, what i would like to suggest is open for more requests from uh, from you for example well many of you early has has proposed uh, dave you are proposing for the wordpress uh, plugins and uh, and uh, so on, and, and uh, if if I'm in, uh, let's say, a really good mood, I will even, if you're an affiliate, uh, like Michael was, I will even buy from you, and Eli also, for that matter, I will even buy from your affiliate link, so you will make some money on your proposals also. Oh, okay. So, welcome with the proposals, never be shy of that. Sometimes I might say no, sometimes I might, it depends on how much month there is left in the end of the money, like you say. And I also like in the group how you share certain vendors are here today, gone tomorrow, where they drop something, and you turn around and point, well, they have the last four products, and they're in the air. Yeah. So then you turn around and say, I'm not doing it. And we all agree. We appreciate that. Yeah. Yeah. Even if some of those, I mean, the, the, I... I suck at marketing and not because i suck at marketing it's because i have no time mm. i really have no time to spend on on a lot of facebook groups and do the marketing and and i didn't have time even to set up automations for it so so uh, i would love to have more members and that's of course a niche for you as as uh, as um, affiliates uh, it, it should be possible to to attract more uh, that's why we need, uh, well, let's say marketing today is done by all these emails that are dropping in. And then they man might, when they search for something, mm. might find the Iron Bias Club and see, ah, they have it done. And yeah, start to attract their interest. So all these shiny objects and all this marketing by, by uh, Billy Dar and his friends, uh, it, it's useful in a way, but... but um, well, the question is, is it worth it? That's why also, that's yeah. why this white list and black list. I'm not sure if it will be unofficial, but uh, it's already uh, coming on. And uh, I have added here developers because a lot of a lot of people who are uh, let's say extremely critical towards some of these uh, products coming out, they they are looking mainly at the vendors. Mm. And they are not looking at uh, who are behind it. Mm. And I think it's the developers that are the, the main thing. For example, um, viral dashboard, uh, now evolution, which been uh, actually, I even have to ask for some money. I don't like that, but but uh, I the the vendors there. <laughs> Uh, were I'm not sure who were behind it, but uh, the vendor probably wanted to keep them well add add on the upgrades as as uh, quite high paid upgrades uh, because I spoke to the develop developers a little bit and they they seem to be not hundred percent aware of what was going on uh, and the developers are an Indian company called Webliska. And they also made uh, these uh, video funnels. And they also made actually the, uh, what's it called, <coughs> uh, Royal, uh, Royal Stock, was it? The, the, um, the image program that was launched mm. the other day. Uh, so they are, they, they are good. They are, they are doing a lot of things. And the other example is, uh, what we have coming now, which I would speak to if I will, if you will still be alive uh, in a couple of minutes, is the um, All Click. All Click is made by a Nigerian developer, uh, Robert Emi. And uh, 
we have a let's say a love hate relationship between each other. I invested quite a lot in in his early developments. Uh, you you recognize some of the programs, but I see he has a. Uh, it's not a straight line from one product to another. It, it's like this, you know. And he now he uh, jumps together with different kind of marketers uh, for his launches. He launched with uh, Neil uh, Neil Napier. He launched a Sushi Sushi Grow, I think it was. Mm. Uh, he launched a Sushi Gram, uh, also called Kigre, with uh, Abi. Uh, what's the name? Well, Abi, you know who I mean. And now he is on the way to launch this all click, which is a development of uh, Sochi uh, Grow, uh, together with uh, Simon uh, Warner. And uh, that is one thing that you can say about such a developer. He he's building a team. Nothing, everything is not perfect. What he's doing, but if you look at his all click. Uh, it, it's it's just amazing what he put together, and why I believe more in uh, what he's doing with that, and uh, it's because we we discussed a lot, so I know what he's doing from the admin side. Let's say like this: uh, he from the beginning he built everything himself, and anyone who's been involved doing some kind of apps where Facebook and uh, Instagram, for that matter, and Twitter, we shouldn't even speak about, are involved. They know what a totally pain in the ass it is. Uh, because they change things. They, I, it, It's just to, to comply with uh, their rules. And it's not only technical rules, it's also political rules. Uh, it, it's, it's a nightmare. Mm. And uh, I tried with some, actually, so what I want to say is that he did this, he tried to keep up, but a lot of things broke, and a lot of things broke very often in those old Sochigram and, and uh, so, so, grow and uh, mm. and this program. So what he did now with, with um, uh, AllClick was that he took a developer who is selling the best selling and best maintained uh, social media program on uh, Code Canyon. And I've been actually uh, installing that program myself because I thought if everyone else can do it, I can do it also, but I couldn't. Uh, because it's too much moving parts, as I said, with, uh, with especially with Facebook. And it's not, uh, doesn't make it easier that uh, I, my main Facebook, which you see all the time, I'm registered like I'm from Russia. And that is uh, not a good, good thing to be with Facebook right now. Let's say like this. <laughs> so, so they, they, it's almost <coughs> impossible for me to to have any kind of approval uh, for for uh, app. I can't even get uh, my business account approved. So, so I have to give up that. But uh, what I want to say, he used that module, and when it comes to this Orphic, there is also a site builder which is uh, extremely good, actually. And he also uses a, a separate module for that. So he, he has learned from his experience that not to do everything himself and start to, to uh, have developers that have been in this business for a while and are developing their uh, stuff. And I believe in that. We have a couple of such as scripts uh, in the club. We have the... Uh, analyt, uh, and analytic 66 or whatever, 66 analytics, uh, which is such a script which is made by an ex extremely good uh, developer who, in principle, every three months or something comes up with something new. I'm not sure some will use it, but it, it's really not bad and it works perfectly on, on our uh, club hosting uh, Linux. So I believe it's the best word. And and uh, Eli, if you're still here, you remember just recently we had discussion of uh, of uh, um, the e the email program, which was launched by uh, also by Cindy, and uh, it was before then launched by uh, what's it called Smart. Uh, well, you you had it in the 
Mm. So, so it's all built on a, on a platform called uh, Axel Mail, which is on, on uh, Cold Canyon. And to be honest, I believe more and more on this. I, it's things that anyone in principle can do, but needs a big organization, or not big, but needs a big uh, engagement to keep alive. So that's why to, to have these marketers like uh, Richard Fabian and maybe then Cindy and like I wrote about this, uh, Tom Yevsikov and, and uh, Firas uh, Almes or whatever, how you pronounce his name, uh, that I shouldn't buy anything from them. But since they did that, actually exactly with the same Axel mail, uh, I see that the, the risk of that this program will be totally abandoned. It's uh, diminished, even if it's a one-time time fee. Yeah. Okay, I, I talk too much here, but uh, <laughs> I'm sure you, you so understand. So that's, the, what that's I mean. the shiny tools then. Uh, yeah, we, we're on yeah. the developer side. Yeah, that's yeah. why I, I, what I want to say is don't s s uh, look only at the vendors, because the vendors can come and go. The developers are those who see that uh, creating the yeah. software works. Yeah. So there will be shiny tools, uh, but they will be more selective. And here are the selective selection criteria. Is there, is there any also, way we could actually develop a, a grading system ourselves? Do you think then, Carl? I mean, it, I mean, it comes down to usage, doesn't it? Really, if people are are going to try them and then put like a star rating on them and with yeah, I think we're idea. I think you would some, criticism, some attention. Let's say like this: <laughs> if we make it, uh, if we make it public, yeah. <laughs> Well, I mean, I, I do think the, the strength of the club, um, you know, if, if they get good reviews, I mean, it might hinder purchasing power as well, but sometimes if you've got a good product coming out. But I just think sometimes if, you know, with, with the strength of the club and, and the the experienced users, um, there must be some value in, in, in our thoughts for them, if they're serious. Yes, of course, no, that's also one of the purposes, and and I, I can tell you when I started this three years ago, just uh, I, when when I launched the site, it took two hours. Then I got ten phone calls from different vendors. Yeah, the most aggressive was uh, a guy called. Um, uh, oh, Oh, I wouldn't say what uh, what uh, name he called me, but it was not, uh, no, not nice. let's say flattering, flattering. Mm -hmm. Let's say like this. Um, but but is this because I I put some some of the uh, his product and some other products which uh, I had with agency license, and I put them like this service will be provided as a service to members, which is uh, totally according to uh, to uh, rules. But they seem to have been burned by a lot of people just uh, throwing out, uh, sharing uh, access and, and so uh, on and so on, which is probably not, still going on. Not so they thought uh, this my this Iron Bias Club was one of them. Now I have a very good relationship with most of them. Hmm. Another was uh, Cyril Gupta who said that uh, I never thought to, to use my things like that. But now, I mean, he he is uh, promoting this himself like, like a way to... For people to buy his agency license, he even provides sales pages with them. So mm. um, it has changed, and, and not to speak about uh, the deal I made because that's something I'm working on with everyone. The deal I made with the uh, Eager for the um, this uh, job uh, job uh, machine, what called it job? Yeah, you know, job site. Yeah, uh, that's the first time I managed to get this. Uh, you know, all this when I have this cheating way to to sell the reseller license mm. which is not a reseller it's a it's a upgraded uh, pimped commission uh, affiliate commission mm. which i would say if you don't have a huge following and, and you know that you will be able to uh, make affiliate sales it's just a way to cheat money from people mm. To believe that they suddenly will become uh, will become sellers of um, of um, uh, software, 
if you can't uh, you can't make your own promotions really because you have to rely on that and you can't make your own prices and you can't you no know, it's an affiliate mm. but my idea was then of course to because some people they use this and I use it partly uh, to give free months in uh, in the club as yeah. a conversation when I have something that I think would be useful for you uh, like this power uh, a couple of months, a month ago, uh, which is a little bit on the board of giving cash rebates because they hate cash cash rebates. Yeah. But this deal I made with Eagle was that, okay, I buy this reseller and instead of I get a commission 100%, uh, he agreed to give you these coupons so you can have 90% discount on actually the whole funnel. Yeah. Instead of I getting uh, any um, any commission, this ten percent is for his expenses, so I, I get zero from that deal, and and that is, I think it's a very good way if, if I can manage to get more uh, people into this. It's good for you. It may be not the best for me because they are quite expensive those deals, but it's a it's a way to to provide something to the club. Mm. So if if you have some ideas or know some um, some vendors, uh, yeah, yeah, okay. at least it was a breakthrough. Uh, most others say no. I made one before with some other guy. But, uh, let me just wrap up this with uh, the videos. There is one uh, we we have left in the year uh, annual subscribers is the videos. I'm not sure if you. And I use it. It's an agency provision. I've used it a lot, I, actually. I, I, I do like videos. I, I find it very, uh, very, very good. But you have your own, right? I have my own, but then I, I had a, a lower level, and then I, I, the, it's a higher level, so I get more access to uh, to more videos, more niches, and things like that with the club yeah. membership, Carl. So I did buy it, I did buy it initially myself, but it was limited. You know, they, they were wanting to sell the different niches, etc. Yeah, we we have they they don't uh, they cheated a little bit in the beginning when I bought this, but now it's a, it's actually a white label. Mm. So I just haven't been. I, I don't see the re, really need to have a white label, but uh, mm. they we will see if I will do it or not. Then we have in video. In video is um, uh, it's a great platform really, and um, we have a lot of users in the club. Uh, also for this one. Mm. So that is a good thing. But then we have this Rocketium, which is extremely expensive. I think it's overpriced, but since people want to pay for it, um, they had a, a lifetime deal on Absumo two years ago or something. And I bought a bunch of uh, packages Mm. which we can share. So I still have uh, quite a lot of uh, packages left. Uh, left uh, mm. You can look it, look it up uh, if you don't know it. it mm. It's a little bit like uh, those, you know, you put in a text, uh, they find the images and uh, spit it out. It's like the old, um, uh, what's it called, that was bought from, uh, uh, bought by GoDaddy. Um, uh, well, if you are into video, you know what I mean. There was a lot of discussion. Vietnami. Of, uh, Vietnami, exactly. Exactly, Mike. Thank you. That's um, It's a little bit like that better, much better than Vietnami was. Uh, and, yeah. So, oh, if, did, did you say better than Vietnami? Rocketium, yes. Oh, all right. Thank you. Absolutely. I will set up an account. We, we have some kind of shared accounts, but you have access to everything. That's so it's... Uh, it's um, fully legal, like everything else we do. Uh, video hosting. Mm. I must say the, the one I use here is actually dot .compat. I also use a little bit of Vidley in the Vidley in the um, for, for uh, courses in the um, uh, course funnels. Uh, video man is not bad. Uh, the um, what it does is that it, it do marketing. Uh, you can put marketing uh, messages, uh, 
buttons och så on och uh, videos. The problem with with both video and video man is that they are limited in uh, in the volume you can you can store. That's the problem. Mm. Uh, let me see. Uh, is someone following the same video? Motvio, yeah. Motvio and video man are about about the same, I think. Mm. Yeah. Uh, what did we have before? Uh, Carry train. Okay. <coughs> Maybe I missed some other. Some, yeah, yeah okay. Yeah, Kerry, that's a good point. Uh, These uh, LTD groups, they you can actually pick up. Uh, they, they are doing a good uh, good job uh, in in evaluating it. and you can also pick up some deals there which can be uh, used and the area yeah, sounds more towards the name is uh, also is a combination of products we have in the club well some yes in a way uh, it's not really because it's it's new new stuff. The the page builder is new. The there are a lot of new stuff. Um, the I mean, what what you will get uh, if you invest in the upgrade? I have to ask for money for that because I paid uh, I paid um, Robert some money to get his access. Uh, you will get the bundle deal, and in the bundle deal there are this SEO modules which you can host on your own site so you get a, a bunch of seo tools which you can give public access to on your site uh, can we i just think can we because as you see here i really didn't do much um, because i wanted to ask you about some things but i think maybe we shouldn't I think we can we can we can come together again, Carl, when it's when it's convenient. Um, you know, get some feedback from people from from today, and um, and look at how we can develop it. Because I, I, I'm finding it extremely useful uh, having yeah. you know the insight directly with the right hand me, message. Let me take two two important things then, because it might be. Maybe we could also have an earlier time for people like Eli and other people that where it's one o'clock in the morning, which is and, really and, fair for them. And, and myself also. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, for you other guys, maybe we could have it a little bit earlier and choose the day where everyone could be a little bit more alive. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank yeah. you, Mike. It's yeah. a good idea. It, it, <laughs> I, it, 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 I mean, as we explained right at the beginning, it was striking that balance with everybody where everybody is. And uh, we so. have some guys from New Zealand, uh, which I had hoped they could be able to. And we have, of course, a lot of uh, Indians. Yeah. yeah. Uh, this um, all click. It's. It's. Uh, I, I don't think any of you have seen something like that before. Uh, so it has a menu up here with different kind of things, and then it has this sub menu. Yeah. Well, it's not sub menu; it's another menu. It's... And uh, just to scroll through the apps in the in the this yeah. is the the old. Let's say this is the old uh, social yeah. girl. There's, Sam's put the link in there to um, to all click. Um... I, I, yeah. Sam, are you um, familiar with AllClick? Do you use AllClick then? I think Sam put, uh, is it for the bundle, Sam, you put? Uh, I don't see it. It, got, it put a link. Here is the link to uh, all clicks if you want to share. So it's, it's in the chat. Um, yeah, that's the bundle, yeah. But yeah. everyone sees that, I think. Yeah. Yes, everyone, everyone, everyone sees that. I've, I've got yeah. it here. No, I did. Yeah. That, that's that's a, that's a bundle deal, and that bundle yeah. deal. Uh, my my price, yeah. my offer to you for that is uh, fifty five dollars. That's what uh, Robert is asking two hundred fifty five for, but it's of yeah. course worth uh, much more. 
55, but you will not get only that. You will actually get uh, 10 uh, extra accounts. You can, you can, you get the agency. Agency is not included in the in the bundle deal, but you will get the agency too. So you will get 10 extra uh, accounts to sell. And uh, but again, it's it's. Um, it needs some time for you to, to dig into this. But what I mentioned with this uh, toolkit, there are two toolkits, and it's uh, Azure Toolkit 1. This is the one you can put on your own sites and make public, so, or uh, you can even charge people for it coming in. So you can, you can have the keyword search, you can, well, there are a lot of stuff you can do here. And uh, sorry, uh, uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, just uh, what what uh, slide are you showing now, uh, Carl? It's not the slide. It's, I'm I'm into the live uh, program. Uh, we're not seeing. I've, I've just got. Ah, you you dot. don't see that. Ah, no, we no, just because you're sharing. Just it, yeah, I'm sorry. Ah. You're sharing your dot yeah, com yeah, one. Yeah, 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 so you yeah, have to stop yeah, sharing yeah. and then. I'm then, sorry. Or yeah, if you yeah, go to yeah, share, yeah. you can switch to a different yes, screen. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. yes I was yes, wondering yes. because. Um, <laughs> so Thank like you. you have to go back 15 minutes now. <laughs> sorry. Yeah, yeah. No, now you should see it. I hope. That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks. Sorry. So, thank you so uh, to point that out. I think it was Eli. I think he said. Yeah, that. my God. I, I, you see how stupid I am with. Uh, it's, with well, Zoom. Listen, it's, it's very early in the morning. Oh, you're not stupid, my man. You're not. <laughs> but here we are in the correct. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's I the think now. you see it. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Indeed. So and so, what I talk about is this uh, toolkit one here, uh, for example. Uh, all of these tools you can put on your own sites and uh, attract people, attract visitors, and and uh, rankings also. I suppose you will gain. Yeah. Uh, you even have, I think, the Alexa, Alexa tool. Uh, oh, all right. Okay. This. Uh, this I had to. Uh, to um, bend his arm a little bit because this cost him money and uh, and uh, every it's it's uh, subscription based normally. So uh, and then there's the other um, the other SEO. But what I want to show you also is there is also a marketplace. Let's see if that is up, which is a sort of. Uh, uh, What's it called, Roti? Yeah, market. Uh, well, it, it's a way to sell your services and you can buy services. So it's a market exchange. Oh, okay. Um, the only thing I don't like with is here that he has a different way to get back to to the home page on different the dashboard. So use the back button back button. Um, we have the funnel builder. Mm. Which is not based on any of those uh, we have seen lately from uh, from Coach Canyon. Mm. It's uh, another uh, builder. Mm. And they have a lot of templates also. And all those are uh, HTML templates. Uh, which you can use. There are not that many, but they are quite useful. And he has sort of brought in uh, all those uh, sales pages from from uh, JVSO and other, and they are useful because uh, we know that they they make money. Mm -hmm. They are built in the in the correct way. So just as you thought, maybe we had enough uh, page builders. <laughs> What do I say? Hold my beer. <laughs> That's um, let's see how I get back here. Uh, Twitter uh, marketing. Um, I I left marketing on Twitter for the same reason. I I have difficulties on uh, on uh, Facebook. I'm too Russian. Um, <laughs> But those who do marketing and those who want to use those uh, 17 seconds or how much they say the window is for your for a tweet, 
uh, this can be useful. It has to be done carefully because Twitter is, is they are very sensitive to uh, any kind of automations. Uh, uh, I will uh, push uh, Robert to make a Telegram connection because I, I think I have a feeling Telegram will take over more and more of this uh, social marketing. Uh, it, it's not Trump's. Maybe Trump's also will be yeah, something. Well, I don't well, know. Wait and see. That's uh, Trump truth, Trump social. Yeah, so Trump, the scripts, uh, the SEOs are uh, scripts you install in your domain, yeah. Yeah, I mean, all, all this uh, works if you are careful. Uh, Some, it's, um, it's uh, works, but uh, if you overdo it, especially if you scrape things, uh, it's not many of this program I, I uh, tested, but uh, for example, uh, Instagram scraper, he can actually scrape real Instagram emails. I ran a batch uh, a couple of months ago when uh, this is, uh, was in the Social Grow platform. You still have it there and there, I think. And uh, I ran a batch of some uh, huge uh, accounts with you, many followers and easily extracted some, I think, 150 emails, real emails, which can be then used in, uh, for other purposes. So uh, what I want to say here, here is that when, when I offer now this $55, it's not that I'm trying to sell you on it, but uh, I made a considerable investment and I, I think it can be useful for you to take this up not only to help me to cover that investment, but to, uh, to also for you to use it. And since you get the agency with uh, extra accounts, you can also, just like with um, Go High Level, you can also make this into a business of your own if you learn it uh, well enough. Yeah. Okay, it's getting late or are you yeah it's uh, well uh, yeah it's it's quarter to one uh, here in the uk now carl yeah. i just think I, 90, 90 minutes two hours is plenty for us for a session like this for anybody <laughs> i i want to mention one thing at the end uh, which is another uh, plan we are coming with mm -hmm. let me see i yeah do, do, do. should be able to go on to share then change change your share options yeah we'll and, go back to the now I'm getting an eagle on this, you know. <laughs> oh, Carl, the, the, the old click, is it, uh, if you don't mind me asking, is it cloud-based or? Cloud-based, yes. If, if you don't install these scripts, these SEO scripts, on, you can install them on, on a Linux server. But uh, as they are there, as I showed you, they, it's all cloud-based. Hmm. Thank you. I will uh, introduce a lifetime membership in the club. Mm. Yeah. Interesting. It will not be cheap. No. <laughs> also interesting. <laughs> it will be. <laughs> it will be. Um, this amount. But for existing members. Yeah, there will be a coupon. If we have some good in mouth. It will be. Uh, where's the dollar sign? Yeah. For a lifetime, uh, and mm. the other perk with this is that. you will get 50% affiliate commission instead of the 25 today. Oh, that's interesting. Can't let me start looking at it on a... On a... also existing. If, if, you have, uh, if you already have existing uh, uh, recruited affiliate uh, uh, members uh, recruited under you, you will start to get 50% from those two. Immediately when you sign up for this. 
So if somebody have some money laying around free, I think this is a good opportunity <laughs> for you. Uh, in principle, you become you become equal partners more or less in a, in a more than two hundred thousand dollar investment business. Yeah, indeed. Now, okay, um, that does that bring us to um, something in the in the plan. That we had to call of of the future. Um, I, I think uh, I can't remember who asked the question about um, you know, all the all the work that's loaded onto you. How that can be disseminated? Would yeah, this exactly. lifetime thing sort of come into into that element that area? Absolutely, it does. Of course, it's a matter of faith and health. Yes. <laughs> The, the, I mean, uh, w what is lifetime? Is it your lifetime, oh, my lifetime, that, or the, the lifetime of, yeah. of, of the product? I yeah. mean, we have built up something here. I can't promise lifetime to every product, of course, mm. it's impossible. Uh, I can't promise lifetime for, uh, for uh, myself either. But uh, anyhow, we, we will... In this way, lifetime members will also, uh, I will expect a little bit more than money from anyone who takes up this offer. Not some work, but I will, I will uh, uh, see that if something should happen to me, because this is a one man, one man show now, more or less. Yeah. Uh, if something should happen to me, there is a continuity uh, so that uh, I will share all my, uh, all my, um, yeah, and, details and, and I everything. think this is we, what we, was being alluded to, wasn't it? Yeah, in 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 the context that yes, it, it, there it is an investment in people, uh, and you are solely you know the person running at this show, uh, Carl, and and I think that was quite a a good point because it's something that you've created, and it would be nice to to have that legacy, um, but it will need some structure, won't it, putting into it to, well, to develop I, that. I think you what I think it was Arab uh, who uh, who raised this. Uh, no, it was uh, Stefan, I think, or Michael. Michael, maybe it was uh, not you, Michael, but yeah. someone uh, raised this question. I think that was uh, no, it was Russ. It was Russ Guthrie. Okay. Right. He, he raised the question about, uh, I think he didn't mean really the the lifetime and so on. He meant the capacity, how oh, many members right. can, that, yeah, can that, I handle. Correct, that's right. Yeah, that's right, Carl, sorry. Yeah, that's exactly And, uh, and uh, that's something, of course, um, that we have to care about. I, when I started this, I set uh, up uh, 150 as the first limit. We uh, we are not there yet. We are actually only on half of that amount. But uh, I don't think anyone has suffered a lot of waiting time on uh, on the creation of accounts. Hmm. Do you agree? Or no, I, I've never had an issue. Never, never, ever had an issue. Uh, I, I can I can't praise you enough, Carl. I really can't. Your support and everything. No, well, it, it, it's, it's not. Uh, it's, it's mainly because I want to show that right now there's really no problem. There are peaks mm. if there comes out a very popular software which I bring into yeah. uh, the club, and and when somebody goes in to uh, at the same time to uh, to request it, there might be some extra, and there might be some time when I'm traveling and so on. But so far, I think uh, judging from what we have now, three hundred members absolutely without any problem and when we reach 150 i will afford, i can afford to take in a, a virtual assistant who can uh, help me with uh, the account creations and yeah. and i can concentrate to yeah. uh, on yeah. other things so so i don't think anyone who is thinking of doing either this lifetime deal and become a an affiliate for the fifty percent and so on. Mm. I have to worry about that, right? Mm. F for a while, at least. Mm. If it becomes a, a worry, we we would uh, will have reached the level that I can afford a virtual assistant. So let's say like this: there's a yeah. 
Yeah. There is a break point where this will yeah. it will not be a problem. There's been an interesting point um, raised, Carl. And is there anything that we can do as members to ease the burden on you somewhat? You know, so, so simple. There was someone posted up earlier today about them just going through the support calls and and tidying things up. They said that they they were just keeping them. You know, all the all the uh, passwords and everything like that were just being kept there, um, and they dip in and out of it. And there were open tickets, which can add confusion if you're having to manage all the. Uh, you know, all the tickets and everything there. So is there anything that we could do um, to assist you on, you know, on genuine basic practice of, of, of using the club? Now, there is, I, I can say there is one thing mm. that I wish everyone could be as good as I'm on, and that is to... Ah, to uh, <laughs> no, no, it's, it's, it's to read what it says. For example, if if there is some uh, some access that needs your input, for example, of a shop name or or something, yeah. uh, give that name. Most of you do it, but some don't. Yeah. Give that name when you request the the access. Otherwise, I have to come back and ask you for and the name, go, and, and it, it will be one one extra. That, that's I would say that's the only thing that's a little mm. bit. Otherwise, uh, the length, if you put everything in one thread, or if you um, if you uh, divide it like uh, Michael uh, did today, uh, it, it's really, it's more up to how you feel it comfortable and what is easier for you. It, it's, mm. for, for me, it, it doesn't matter. I, I do feel that my my internet or my computer, I don't know which, slows down a little bit when when uh, the the thread is getting too long. Mm. But uh, it is not a major issue right now. Mm. I must say I, I really like my uh, this uh, support program. It's not many using it, but uh, I like it. Yeah, uh, I don't know it, how it, you, it, how it, you like it. But <laughs> well, I, I think you're right. I, I mean. Like like Michael, it, it, it is it's a useful thing there. But even when you close the uh, the support tickets, they're still there if you want to go back and read them at a later date or reopen them. Um, I'm, I'm finding it very very useful in that sense. I think sometimes um, it is. I, I grade how important it is to me, and uh, you know you got like, how important it is when we're making a request. Uh, and sometimes you think it's such a small detail, and, and I don't want to burden you with it <laughs> to some extent. Uh, and I think that's where we've, if we've got, if we can de develop a, a forum of, of some of these questions where they're easy to filter out uh, with some of the answers. Ne never be afraid of, of asking or open tickets. I mean, it's, 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 um... it's just, it's just uh, you know, um, attaching a priority. Uh, within myself, because I, I'm I'm here, there, and everywhere all the time, and yeah, it's really the most important thing in my life right now. Ten minutes time, I've, my mind's on something else. It, it goes, and it's just that's yeah. No, uh, you know what? What um, uh, the only concern I have about uh, members, I will be totally honest for you, are members that never ask for anything. <laughs> <laughs> because I know that that sooner or later, if they have some kind of, of common economic sense, yeah. they they will leave. Yeah, <laughs> they're not getting anything. <laughs> that's that's. Uh, I mean, what for to pay for something which you don't use? Uh, yeah, you can do it for a while. Maybe you think it will be something yeah. on, but. It's sooner or later, I know that those people who never ask for will leave. Yeah. So that's why I, I it, it's well, it's yeah. a little bit, you know. In terms of value for money, they do, they, yeah. the reason why they don't ask for anything is because they don't want to make a commitment. Find out that they like it, and now they have to pay every <laughs> month or every year for the rest of their life. <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe it's a sort of uh, that's philosophy. I, I don't know, but but uh, it, it it's also clear that um, when uh, somebody on uh, on the monthly plan, when when the um, rebuilding comes, 
they wake up and, and uh, jump into the club and see what they can pick up. And that, I think, is it's how it should work. I mean, you you pay for something and then you go in and see, ah, I can pick up for 10 times the value of uh, mm. what I, I paid this month, yeah. or even 20 or whatever. Yeah. So that's one thing. And then, of course, to have recurring stuff, which, uh, which uh, the club pays recurring, uh, and you, of course, pay a smaller recurring, but you, you have constant access to and yeah. and that's it, yeah. but, I can say right now it's, it's more than 50% of, of the fees going for recurring yeah. I mean, I'm calling for you example, Ban, yeah. Ban, well, I'm calling you Ban well, because I, but I think it's Paul is it because uh, it, yeah. he keeps raising yeah. his hands for me Carl I just want to I just wanted to say Michael I, I wanted to say if, if we have and David if we have something like this that we started going uh, and you know, you email the members. You know, everybody, especially those that pay and they don't. You know, they're not requesting anything. You'll be amazed that you'll be amazed that they will. They might hang around more because they now start getting education to what they are. Mm. You know, uh, mm. privy to honestly, honestly, mm. yeah. Because some people don't don't ask because they don't know. You know. Yeah. I mean, this is something that's crossed my mind today is when, I, when I'm exploring the shiny objects or some of the tools or when I'm trying to resolve a problem myself, I'm just thinking now that just to record the screen and have somewhere where we can post it up, which we've, we've got all the, the facilities to do it, someone might just find that what I'm going through that process I'm going through, someone might find it useful as well. So, and it's just a case of clicking a button to record the screen. But it doesn't have to be on a professional level because we're not putting that to the market. It's within the club itself as a support mechanism. And I think we're all very, very similar in our our outlooks and our our work ethics and things. And I, I just think maybe something along those lines, Carl might. Um, you know, just yeah, just, I, I mean, I like I said, I, I suck on marketing. I, I uh, sometimes I, I do something and, and put out on on uh, Facebook, and uh, but if you look at the the Facebook page we have for Iron Bice Club, it, it's uh, I almost do nothing. Sometimes I remember put it there first and then into the mm -hmm. the, the club, mm -hmm. but. Um, I mean, if I, I was talking about maybe something like this once a month, but you know, for half an hour a week, if there was a, a, a time that was agreed for everyone, just to we could all take it in turns to do like little mini tutorials on our experiences of something. There's lots of opportunity. Yeah, but what what I what I mean is that you have a golden opportunity as affiliates. Because there's almost no competition for this, and almost nobody knows about the club. Yeah. Uh, the 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 only affiliate which really is working hard, I must say, is Sam. Mm. Are you still here, Sam? I don't see. Uh, 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 yes, he is. Dan. He's still there. He's still here down at the bottom. You can open your mic if you want to, Sam. <laughs> and come in. Yeah. Is there? Yeah, I'm here. Yeah. yeah. So and and Sam, of course, he has uh, he brings a lot of visitors, but uh, yeah, they are not hundred percent convinced. Otherwise, you would have you would have had your income. Sam, uh, the, yeah. but maybe you can say some of the questions they have to to help others maybe become. Yeah, well, I I think people I'm sending a lot of traffic to the website, no, no doubt, but. There's a conversion issue, I think. We talked about this before you got on, and I, I think people think it's too good to be true, a lot of people that hit the page. And I think my problem in my marketing is that I'm sending people directly to the page, not building bridge pages, talking about maybe specific areas. That's just my own marketing as I'm looking at it. Because um, I think I think when people get on there, and I, I've, had, I've had conversations with people, and they're just like, well... I would rather buy it from the vendor, and I'm like, well, "What do you mean, buy it from the vendor? You, you can you can save that two hundred and fifty dollars and get everything else you see here." Yeah, and so I I haven't really I, I think there's going to be something a, a bridge at least on the from an affiliate standpoint of bridging the gap before they land on the page. 
maybe it's too much. Maybe they're just overwhelmed when they look at it all and they think it's a scam uh, because there are a lot of scams yeah, online. Yeah, indeed. Uh, when, when you look at all those tools, you're like, oh, come on, like, that can't be true. Mm-hmm. Even I did that when I first landed on it way back three years ago. And I'm like, wait a minute, he's got to, this is going to be something illegal here. There's going to be something <laughs> black hat or, you know, <laughs> he doesn't really have the right to these tools like that. But yeah. that's proven to be <laughs> not well, the case. The last person that I had that I tried to convince into the IM club here is they turned around and said, this is, the, this is the last thing I'm going to buy. And I says, yeah, but you're going to see something else that you're going to want. And they say, no, no, no. And guaranteed two weeks later, did you hear about? <laughs> yeah. That's my problem. Ralph, trying to convince them yeah. that this will sell up. Ralph, would you like to come in? and go get, You need to open your mic, Ralph. Open your microphone. <laughs> Yeah, I share a lot on the Facebook. Um, can, can several, we... several, several hundred times a week in uh, in groups, and I have a lot of uh, visitors in trade talks, but so far, no, nobody. But I don't have any person person contact with with yeah. people. Yeah. Uh, Carl, can, we, can we stop sharing the um, the, the slides now, Carl? We'll just stop sharing yes, those for now. Yes, we can. You, you can take it away, right? Carl? Yeah, well, if you, just, if you just click stop share and then uh, we can see everyone and everybody can open up and have a, I don't know, a five-minute discussion and before we wrap stop up. Stop share and then we have a red Th- There yep. we are. There we are. Um, uh, I, I think there are some things that we could do um, to enhance it and, and having this tonight is helpful because we get to talk out the tools a little bit and, you know, I've spent a lot of time going through a lot of different tools, and some are fantastic, some are okay, and some downright expensive. It's just the nature of the it's the nature of the beast. Yeah. And you know, I, I went to try to log into one today, and it was an older program, and it's it's gone. The, the yeah. website's gone. They're not even there. Yeah. But knowing that, I mean, if you look at the value of this and what we do have, it's it's way over the top. Yeah. It's over the top. Well, I, I mean, just a couple three tools. Even high level alone, yeah, is more than the monthly cost I, of this membership. I get, um, uh, I have the the annual membership, and I just I've got uh, two clients that uh, I have on a recurring basis, and what I charge them for their annual fee pays for my uh, uh, annual subscription. So. Right. That's just the hosting of two websites where I charge them, you know, eighty pounds, hundred pounds a uh, a year. And that's recurring. It, it it pays for it, so it, it is a no brainer for anybody that's was willing to 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 put it out there in the first instance. You've got to you've got to have some way of uh, you know an income if you want to 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 justify it, but, but it's not a lot. You don't have to have a lot, right. but the potential. You the... Your... Sorry, Terry. Yeah, maybe we could do like a approach like Frank does. Frank, Frank Andrews with the do way. Maybe we could do like three or four softwares for free for joining the club. In, indeed, um, I think the big biggest challenge for us um, is is for us to assist Carl and let's bring what we have got so that we can just put our fingers on it when we want it and see what where we can sell it and it, it's like a shopping trolley really isn't it when somebody makes an inquiry and we can th- go in and uh, yeah that's that will satisfy that need. But maybe what I'm saying like maybe we could give them like if we have something that like, uh, a price that we could give them outright say. You join, we give you like three products free. You can have it forever. Well, you could. Like, I, there's I, a media, media, uh, with, there's with, a media app. Um, those those products would have to be identified to to ensure it stay on the legal side and, and within the base, business right, form right, that right, Carl's right. Carl's brought together, wouldn't it? So. Well, ladies and gentlemen, can I just suggest that maybe we reconvene at at some time? And do this again, yeah. yeah. Is that a thumbs up for everybody, yeah. Carl, is that okay with you? 
Absolutely, and and a big thanks to you, Dave, from, uh, from not me at all. And, it's, from all of us. Now, listen, I, I I get so much pleasure from from the products that we we all share, and it's fantastic to see everybody together, you know, and, and put faces and moving faces to to the people that join us in the, the voices. Forum, the know? voices is for me the most interesting. Yeah, yeah you all heard mine in from the. Uh, and I the, think I think we could sort of t together just through discussion on the. Face Facebook forum, come up with some nice ideas and, and, and ways to where we can still have fun doing it. You know, it doesn't have to be that, <laughs> that depressing. Um, uh, Mike Ailey and myself, or maybe somebody else, <coughs> are members in um, in a group yeah. who has an IM pub. Well, well virtual pub. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, why not? Maybe, maybe we should open something like that. Yeah, and because the, the, this story. <coughs> okay. This uh, webinar it um, almost turned into such a club now. Or, or well, I, I've club. I've been assisting a a friend of mine now with, on on Zoom. He does. Um, training, vir virtual training for doctors that come into the UK. We've done over 200, about 220 uh, of these training courses, uh, like six hour days virtual training courses. And it's been a tremendous platform, this Zoom, for doing it. Um, but there, you know, there are things, you, you can go on too long. And you've got to have specific uh, things to, to, to speak about. People just dropping in and out. We're, we're all too busy for that. So I think a focus, Carl, and I think what we've done this evening has been absolutely fantastic. And uh, I will put it up in the forum when I, I, I come up with a convenient day. I mean, what, what do people think generally once a month is to, to start with? I think that sounds good. Yep. Yeah. So do people want to put a, a date in the diary and, and try and agree a time now so that we've got something to work towards whilst we're all here together? And it might be a bit easier. So if I bring my calendar up, and uh, we're looking now, so we are... Is midweek better, do you think, for people than the weekends, or would weekends be better? Any... Any views on that at all? Please open your mics and. Midweek is good. Midweek is good. Be a certain time change. Say again, Carrie, please. Biggest uh, time change. Yeah, the, the, time is, the time change is the, is the is the biggest thing. So if we go for, uh, yeah, I suppose um, if we go midweek, that that sort of impinges on people's working day doesn't it to, to some degree um midweek 3 p.m eastern standard time which would put it around what eight eight o'clock in the evening for uk time that's fine by me um can i suggest choose uh, no no tuesdays don't work best for me actually um probably Why wednesday don't we just put a post to get more people going, we'll just put a poll up in the Facebook group. This yeah. way, the yeah. people that aren't here will also get involved and go, hey, that sounds great. Yeah. And they'd put down the time as well. Yeah, indeed. Let's, let's put it out of that. But show, um, if we just set a date for one month's time, 23rd of, of March, is that reasonable? Yeah. Yeah, we, we can, but you got to remember a lot of people's plans change. I, I'd only go two weeks from now. Because that might be a good yeah, put a poll up and see what everyone can jump on. Okay, well, we'll, we'll do yeah, that. We'll, I think we'll that's, that. uh, if, if we ask too much questions, uh, it will leave you too many answers. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> just, just pick two or three dates <laughs> and just say, push. Yeah, but we say we'll say a month. We'll say one month. We'll say, yeah. yeah. Oh, will you just say two weeks? Were you thinking two weeks then, Mike? Will you, is that what you're coming? Two weeks. All right. So once every two weeks we can come together, and then we'll just work out the time. All right. 
that's what they will put it on a pole. Sam has a question about uh, it's open. Uh, it's open until you buy it. So. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds good. <laughs> he has uh, midweek, but I'll be on vacation. He says. <laughs> I think something we could do a good the, vacation, you yeah. right? <laughs> I think something we could do as a group too is, is as we're using tools. Um, I think you started to talk about that, but even making a short video of how you're using it in your business or how you're using the tool in general. That would yeah. be um, very helpful. And then as as that as we all do that, because we're all using different tools for different things, we'll start to be building a database of Okay, so somebody wants to join the club and they're interested in starting a digital agency. Or maybe yeah. they want to be an affiliate. Maybe they want to do this or do that. Yeah. Um, maybe they want to start a social marketing business or whatever it may be. Yeah. Um, when they come into the club, there'll already be kind of like groups of tools that be like, well, these are probably your best set to get going with yeah. for what you want to do. With it. And they've been tested. Um, and they are holding up, you know, I've got tools that are still two, three years old that are working great, yeah. like videos and yeah. in video. Those are two tools I use almost daily. Um, yeah. Yeah. You know, I, I like doing video. I do video for different markets. So, Well, it, what you're saying to some, it's also the best way to to gain affiliate commissions to to uh, to recruit new members. It is. It is. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I agree. And we're all using different tools. So as we're using them, maybe we shoot a quick video on, you know, this is XYZ tool and this is how why I'm using it and how I use it. And it can only be a couple minutes or three minutes, it might be 10 minutes, whatever. Um, but if we're all doing that, it's only going to benefit all the people that come in and the current members as well. Yeah. It's just going to help them to understand yeah. that. I, oh, I, wow. I didn't, I mean, I, I bumped into a tool today I didn't even remember we had. It, yeah. Likewise. It's, like, it's like, oh my gosh, I, I, I forgot all about that tool. Yeah. So it happens a lot because there's, there's some really good, powerful tools yeah. in the world. I think it also shows that we're just real people, aren't we? We're just everyday people that are doing what we do, enjoy doing, and, and it's not a scam. It's just not a scam. It's just, yeah. it's just so yeah. Put so a face great. to it. Put yeah. a, face, a real face to it and a yeah. voice to it. And, uh, yeah. Because there's something to be said about a social aspect, even as as well. I mean, some people join things just because they want to be connected with other people, mm. and to have and and, and the, I mean, they obviously want to make money, but yeah. there's a social aspect of things as well that people want to feel a part of something yeah. in their life. Off off the top so, of my head here, uh, I'm just wondering if if we had a a, a website. That we as members, we all had admin rights, if you like, to some extent, so we can actually put these posts up. And, so it's, a, it's one focal point, but coming back to the mothership of Carl's, of the, the Iron Bear Buyers Club, but we can actually just post our own bits and pieces up on there. I I, 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 Facebook's not bad, but I don't. I, there's a lot of people still not on Facebook, you know. There's a problem with Facebook anyway. Like I know yeah. Ralph, you were talking a few minutes ago about like posting the groups and that whole that whole thing has changed. Facebook has changed. A lot of people have moved off Facebook yeah. or aren't unless you're advertising in people's news feed, mm. it's tough to market on Facebook and mm. get any traction. Um, yeah. at all. Even Facebook pages, I'm not finding mm. people are really following that or connecting with that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm I'm putting <laughs> stuff all the time. Go carry. How did you friend or have been banned on Facebook? So recently, they've been banned oh, from Facebook? Yeah, for, for, well, Carl's had some things knocked off, Carl, haven't you? You've posted things that have just blocked them. Yeah, it's every third link, approximately. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Even if it's not affiliate links. Yeah. They, they, yeah. Uh, I, I suspect I'm on some manual... Uh, Review or something. <laughs> well, I, have, I have friends. I have friends that I have like of friends, and I don't see any. Some of the posting, I haven't talked for years. Yeah. Some of the postings. Yeah. We're wandering on again on now. We're wandering on again. Somebody needs to take control. Carl, take control. <laughs> Let's go <just> down. <laughs> To, Dave, I think Dave, I think we should go with what you said. I think we should be thinking about a membership site. You know. That we all have access to. 
And who knows? I don't know whether Carl has something or you can create something on the... Um, it's not... We, we, is it? Yeah, the, it's, it's, the, it's no dino, the dino one, yeah. No, the dino thing, you know? Yeah. Dino, it can be, uh, it can be on mm. ordinary... Uh, it's, it's no problem to set that up. But we, we, we have to be con cautious, though, of, of what's... If people visit the site, what they've got access to, Carl, don't we? That is what I'm thinking. I'm thinking something outside... Outside, I am buyers, which you've got control of, but we've got something that you know people can't get access to the items in the club without. Um, you know, Carl, do you have the course dino with the product dino? dino? The, the, the new one they launched with the courses with the product dino? Yeah, it could be, could be. Oh, there, there are several options. Uh, I know a great club that has uh, several options. I will check that. <laughs> Ed, Ed Baker's just is come that, into the is room. That, is that is that that? that? <laughs> uh, no. Well, uh, to be honest, I could do it in in da, uh, DAP. DAP is DAP uh, is bomb proof. That one. Honestly. Yes, I I have a license. I don't have any developer license, but I, I can. I have a. Well, from work in progress. Back. Work in progress. Now, Ed's just joined us. <laughs> Sorry to say, Ed, we're just winding up, <laughs> and uh, you've missed a great evening, <laughs> or day, or morning, yeah. wherever you may be in the world. Yeah, uh, uh, I see Fernando come on. Yeah, Fernando, we can we can discuss that separate with uh, with uh, you had a question about um, high level, but uh, yeah. if you if you watch the video I've made, I think it, it gives some kind of Yes, yeah. I'm hoping this. I've, I've managed to record this. I'm very, very conscious of of uh, providing um, support for our members. And poor Eli is fading fast. <laughs> it's three three fifteen a.m. <laughs> so I think we have time to say good night and good thanks night. Exactly. to each and every one of you. <laughs> good to see you all. Really good. All thank right, you to everyone. Carl, thank you, day thank you so day. much. Yeah. Let's keep, let's keep in touch, and we'll set a date for a couple of weeks' time, and we can do this again. And <laughs> poor old Eli, <laughs> he's got a little stick under his chin there to stop him falling off his chair. <laughs> he wants to leave. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay. I'm, I'm going to end right. everything. I'm going to save the chat, and and uh, if, if you're not sure how to save chat, if you're on a laptop or a PC, if you've got the chat window open, to the right where it says everyone at the bottom. To the right hand side there are three dots if you click those three dots it gives you a, a drop down menu it says save chat and it will save it to a subfolder called zoom on the machine that you're working on in your main documents folder so okay, it is there i will have a copy anyway so if anybody wants a, a copy i can get it and I'll, hopefully this video will um, will have be all right and we'll see about posting it up actually i start to love zoom you start to love Carl, to be sure. honest, it's, it's fantastic. Be honest. Yeah. It, and Dave, thanks, thanks, man. Oh, not at all. Well, it's it's Thank an you. absolute pleasure. I, I get so much joy from this club, and uh, to be able to put a little bit back, it's great. And uh, Carl, hats off to you, sir. You created a monster. Thank you, Dave. You are, you are a good yeah. member. Yeah. 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 All the very yeah. best, guys. Bye. Okay. Bye, bye. Good night, everyone. Bye. -bye. Yeah. Good night. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Good night, all. Good night.